Thanks, Andrew. Pfizer just out with earnings. Meg Terrell has those numbers for us. Meg, take it away. Hey, Becky, a beaten raise for Pfizer in the quarter. Adjusted EPS coming in at $1.34 per share versus analyst average estimate of $1.09. Uh, revenue, $24.1 billion versus $22.7 billion average estimate. The COVID vaccine driving a lot of the beat. $13 billion in revenue for the quarter versus $11.86 billion analysts were looking for. Company also raising its full year guidance, uh, now seeing revenue of $81 to $82 billion, up from $78 to $80 billion. Also raising adjusted EPS quite significantly to 413 to 418 per share. A lot of that driven by an increase in the expectation for the COVID vaccine up to $36 billion uh, from 33 and a half. Now expecting to deliver 2.3 billion doses uh, for the full year. That's uh, 200 million more than it had predicted last quarter. Um, taking out the COVID uh, vaccine from the guidance, they are narrowing the forecast for revenue a little bit, bringing down the top line from 47 to 46 billion, uh, but bringing up the bottom line of the adjusted EPS guidance, excluding the COVID vaccine. So Pfizer making the point it's driving the business. Uh, the COVID vaccine is huge, but also driving it on other cylinders as well. So Pfizer up there almost 2% uh, in the pre-market. Guys, we've got CEO Albert Borla joining us on the exchange later today. So that'll be very interesting. Back over to you. That will be interesting. We'll be watching. Meg, thank you very much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.